Welcome to Go Get It. Today we are starting a new series that is related to C programming language and their constructs. You will you must be aware of all the programming constructs related to C, but there are certain concepts or functionalities uh, involved in C which are not uh, very much aware. So we'll start today with sequence points. So what are sequence points? So sequence points. It defines any point in a computer program's execution, at which it is guaranteed that all the side effects of previous evaluations would have been performed, and no side effects from subsequent evaluations have yet been performed. So now uh, we'll see in shortly uh, that what are side effects of a program execution. But so uh, let us understand first what is this sequence points definition means. It means that. Uh, so, for example, you have some programming construct or uh, some uh, code uh, code snippet is given in your case, uh, which is written in C. So, for example, we have a function one, func one, and func two, which is just printing a statement. Uh, the func one is printing welcome to, and the another function is printing go get iit, and both are returning one and one. So, in this case, when the program's execution starts, it enters into the main, and it uh does this functionality like func1 plus func2 so uh this func1 plus func2 so uh according to the statement of sequence points it says that all the side effects of previous evaluations would have been performed so previous evaluations means say for example in this uh, current uh, expression what is happening is func1 plus func2 is happening so uh, it is assumed that uh, when a sequence point is in a consideration say for example we are assuming here that plus uh, for example uh, i mean i mean to say that uh, for some time just assume that plus is a sequence point so according to the definition what it says func1 should perform all its functionality before performing the subsequent function functions or uh, operations post the sequence point but in this case you can see that the expected output can be welcome to go get it or go get it welcome to so there it depends on compiler or machine to machine it will vary so you never know uh, it will be indefinite uh, you cannot definitely say that that welcome to go get is going to print all the time so because this uh, plus is not uh, ideally or uh, uh, according to the c principles the plus is not a sequence point and hence func1 will execute first or func2 will execute first you never know it depends on the compiler or the machine to machine it will vary so that's why plus is not a sequence point and this definition says that only that all the side effects of a previous evaluations would have been performed and no side effects from the subsequent evaluations have yet been performed now what are side effects side effect is nothing but it is associated with any full expression or a function it says that changing state of something so say for example this function one is doing something here so uh, the side effect of this function is it is printing welcome to so that's the side effect so changing state of something involves changing val va variable value io operations etc so considering changing variable value consider this var1 equals to plus plus var2 so what is happening other than assigning assignment operation say for example var1 is equals to plus plus var2 so what is happening here var1 is assigned with var2 so this is the main operation happening here but along with that this pre increment operator is incrementing the value of var2 and that uh, that is changing the state of variable 2 so we as we said that changing variable value so var1 is also happening var2 is again in the single operation it is doing uh, multiple things like so for example plus plus is happening here so these are the side effects so this increment operator is nothing but a side effect of this complete uh, evaluation so those are nothing but the side effects now uh, <clears throat> moving back to the sequence points uh, concept so for example now we are replacing this plus plus with ampersand so you can see here that ampersand in the c principles ampersand is considered as a sequence point so what is happening here if you have ever noticed that 
if function one is returning any kind of uh, false statement or false from the function. Say for example, here it is returning. Now let's execute first this and uh, let's see the result. So we are getting welcome to go get it. That means it is returning one here, it is returning one here. Both are true and that's how it is returning. And it is printing all the statement. Now I am returning zero here. Now the expected output would be welcome to with the space. So if I execute this, I should get only welcome to. So this is the functionality of sequence point. So function one is returning zero. It is performed all the operations, but it has written in false and hence it won't go to function two. So that is where sequence point comes into picture. So it, it, merely, it, uh, it helps in the optimization of a program. So sequence point, uh, ampersand and uh, or operator and comma operator, semicolon operator, these are the uh, sequence point in sequence. So function one is returning zero here and hence it has uh, written false as zero is considered as false. And that's why it is not moving to function two. So side effect of function one is nothing but it is returning false. And as per this result, what is happening? it will return zero, it won't go to function two. So, but in case of plus operator, there is a ambiguity, whether function two will execute first or function one. So here we are just simply printing some statement, but there are certain cases where we will be incrementing some variable value, which is going to be used in function two. And if at all it is not executed first and function two is getting executed, then there will be ambiguous results. With this, we are ending the sequence points concept. I hope you are uh, clear with the sequence points. Thanks for listening. You can demand your email uh, requirements at demand at gogetiit.com.